Hello aviators, welcome back to The Finer Points. In this video, we're gonna talk about soft field operations. There's a lot of misconceptions here. This is on the private pilot ACS, so if you have a check ride coming up, this is important to you. It's possible that you've learned this maneuver or these operations wrong. All right, so we're gonna go into that, but before we do, I wanna let everyone know that we've got a webinar free coming up on November 19th. That's a Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. It's a pilot controller forum. We've got Todd Cormier, a retired Hired air traffic controller is going to be our guest. If you have any questions about anything air traffic control, combined stations, flight following, center versus TRACON, the government shutdown, we're gonna get into all sorts of things. Uh, it's free to register, just visit learnthefinerpoints.com. That is Wednesday, November 19th at 5 p.m. Pacific. All right, let's talk a little bit about soft field operations. There's one big misconception with this, and that is a soft field versus a soft landing. I think if we give this the right context, a lot of things downstream will make sense. We're talking about soft field operations. Ideally you do have soft landings, but this is not a soft landing competition. This is how to operate off grass runways, dirt runways, gravel runways, runways with grooves and bumps in them, anything that is not the smooth pavement that you're probably used to. And there are some really common errors in this maneuver. So imagine that when you're doing the maneuver, when you uh, line up for takeoff on this, you're not gonna use any brakes. You're gonna turn the corner onto the runway and go ahead and apply full power and full back pressure until you get the nose wheel off the ground. When you do that, you really want to imagine that you're bouncing down some cornfield or some, you know, rough runway, right? It's not usually smooth and you want to make sure that you've got a good visual reference, the Lindbergh reference. One of the main common errors here is not getting the nose wheel off the ground, using back pressure, but the nose wheel doesn't come off. Watch me and my student recently working on this. The first time around, he had this exact problem. Okay, power is set. There you go. Those wheels are not, checked. Those wheels not quite off. Lift back yeah. a little more. Okay. A little more. Right there, it's off. All right, there's 40 knots. Lindbergh reference. Yeah. Good. Nice job with the roll. Push forward right. now. Yep. Dramatically, yep. yeah, flat to the runway. Good. There you go. Okay, so in the real world, when you're when you're doing this and you're bouncing down the runway, often it's one of those bounces that sort of throws you into the air early. And so you begin flying before you have flying speed and you're in ground effect. So you have to kind of stay there in ground effect and pick up speed and fly away. But often when you're demonstrating this, it's easy enough just to lift off and attain your climb speed, especially if you're at sea level, only two people on board. So make sure you make it obvious that you're pitching forward to accelerate in ground effect. Sometimes I even recommend saying those words. Pitch forward, more forward, more forward. There you go, like that. You know, I'm holding it in ground effect. You can even say those words. Got it, yep. So the examiner like, yeah. checks that box. All right, and when it comes to the landing, you know, I, I see pilots, they say, I wanna use a little bit of power here to cushion the landing. Like this is a soft landing competition. And the problem with that is you introduce a little bit of power and you kind of hang there in the flare, you know, six inches off the runway and everything goes wonky. It's always a harder touchdown when that happens. The most important thing is that you have good alignment and that you protect the nose wheel. Remember, we're simulating returning to that sort of bumpy cornfield. We wanna make sure we're lined up with it and that we're protecting the nose wheel as we decelerate along the runway. Uh, that's something you're gonna to have to imagine and sort of simulate. The last thing you wanna do is add a little bit of power just above the runway so things get wonky, you touch down sideways and just release the nose. That's something that uh, examiners would not like. Consider Jim Pittman on a re recent office hours session uh, was saying this very thing. If you haven't seen this, by the way, we have office hours every Friday now in the Ground School app. You should join us, get your free three-day trial at learnthefinerpoints.com. There are live CFI support every Friday inside the Ground School app. So here's what Jim Pittman, uh, flywithjim.com, a DPE out of Arizona was saying about his big complaint in the soft field landing. Alignment and protecting the nose wheel. When, yes. when we're demonstrating these on asphalt or concrete, yeah. it's all about like, I'm fine if they, if they have that stall warning horn blaring, the nose is nice and high and they put it down firmly on the mains and the yeah. nose never touches, I'm like, that's what we're looking for. And, yeah. and, and so often the, the check ride applicants like, Oh, that was so hard. I'm like, that was beautiful. Yeah. It doesn't it, have to be a soft. It's the people that there. grease it in 10 knots too fast. That's like, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know, the funny thing is like the, the softest landing I've ever had, I think was Johnson Creek. I mean, if you truly land on a good grass runway, it's not going to feel hard. 
the grass will feel a lot softer than any pavement you've ever landed on, <laughs> you know? Um, but like Jim's right, you have got to protect that nose wheel because once you're down, it's often not an even surface. So it's not like you're down and it's good. It's like you're down and now you're boom, 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 bouncing over the ruts and in the little potholes and the, you don't want to dig in the propeller or damage the nose wheel. Like I find the thing about soft field that, that I think is worth considering is just that the demonstration of it is markedly different than the experience of truly doing it. All right, and remember, alignment is key. You know, when, when I was flying with Kevin last week, his last landing was perfect. Let's watch that. All right, so if you've got a flight review coming up or you've got a private pilot check ride coming up, try to understand the purpose of these operations. The context here will make everything successful for you, but also make sure you review the ACS specifically, all the knowledge, all the risk, all the skills. All right, I hope I see you guys at the webinar. Please leave a comment below if there's a video you'd like to see. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Hit that little alert bell so you make sure you get notified when we upload a video. There's lots of stuff happening in the Ground School app. We've got five courses now. We've got office hours every Friday. It's all courses, one price, unlimited access, and we'll give you a free three-day trial. I'm Jason Miller, and until I see you guys again, be safe and fly your best.